Andy, thank you very much for joining me this evening after an unfortunate 5 1 loss in the National League Cup against Sunderland. What's your take on the game? Uh, disappointing, to be honest. Yeah, obviously, coming to these games, picked a strong team. Uh, a lot of lads that needed minutes who haven't played as much as they wanted to recently. So, uh, the remit for me at the start was let's get back to winning ways. Uh, and that's certainly not happened tonight. Two early goals to Sunderland, but going into half time at 2 1, what do you think the key difference was in the second half? Uh, I thought both halves were similar. We, I don't think we were good enough. We didn't defend well enough. We've got to start getting back to keeping clean sheets, being hard to beat. Um, you know, They scored two in the first, like I said, 10, 11 minutes, but they had other opportunities as well. Um, we wasn't good enough at either end of the pitch. and We said at half-time we need to be better. We started the second half a little bit better. I thought we probably should have got back into it. Uh, and then they've broke away and scored three one. And then, you know, it's a catalogue of errors, really, for me in the second half. Uh, quite a bit of possession, but they, they cut through us way too easily a goal for Callum Cockrell Muller after a lengthy spell out of action how do you think he's settled back into the side yeah I think he's been a positive today you know to get him through that much of the game probably what 85 minutes was good you know he's coming back to fitness so that was a positive um, there wasn't many positives tonight if I'm being honest um, you know these are all players that are knocking at the door want to get into the team asking questions while they're not involved and I wanted a reaction from them tonight and I wanted to be driving away from here with a lot of headaches, what to pick because they'd all done so well, and that wasn't the case. Uh, we've just addressed it. You know, these cup games are tough because they're good teams we're playing against, and we have to be better than that because that was not the sort of performance I want to put my name to. More minutes for George Morrison coming back from injury, and some minutes for Zach McKenzie as well. How important can these matches be for the younger players to gain experience in the side? I think they're important for everyone, whether it be a young lad or you know experienced player. They're, they're about keeping fitness levels high. It's a good opportunity. It's better than training. Um, and it's something we want to be doing okay, and I'm not, you know, I'm not coming myself for performances like that. That's that's not what we're all about. So it's important for Zach McKenzie. It's important for everyone within the club to, when they get the opportunity to produce. Because one thing we've done over the two and a half years, whatever we've been out to play in, we've competed. Um, and, and I didn't think we did tonight. Yeah, they're a good team. They move the ball really well. They've got a lot of young, good young players. No getting away from that. But we need to be better. We need to be more resolute. We need to have a better shape about the team, when to press, when not to press. There was too many things going on tonight that I wasn't happy with. Dagenham and Redbridge next at home. Both teams level on points in the league. What are your thoughts going into the game of the weekend? Uh, I'm not really thinking about that. I'm still digesting that because I was disappointed tonight. Um, uh, we'll train Thursday. We'll have a look at a few different things. I've got a lot of footage on Dagenham. Adam watched twice. In the last three games, so I know they're going to pose a massive threat. They attack really, really well. We're going to have to defend collectively as a unit, and that's the whole group, not just the back three, four, or whatever you want to call it, um, to get some back out of it because we need to get back to being hard to beat. You know, we've prided ourselves in the last couple of years of not giving many goals away. At the moment, we're making some horrendous decisions all over the pitch, conceding too many goals. You can't do that. And finally, just some words on your end for the fans in attendance tonight. Yeah, brilliant. That was disappointing for them because that's a good turnout on such a bitterly cold night. So, you know, I think as a group we apologise for that because they've took the time to come. But like I said it before, you go through thick and thin. These games are difficult because a lot of the boys haven't been playing, but that's not an excuse. You know, supports come out, they expect better than that. They probably, some of them thought there was a lot of quality on show from the other team, so they perhaps enjoyed that. But obviously they follow Tamworth, they want Tamworth to do well. And that wasn't at us tonight at all. Andy, thank you very much for joining us and we'll speak to you at the weekend. No problem.